As Nebuton is one of the least visited places on Earth, North Korea's daily lives are something few know much about. One French photographer managed to visit the reclusive state and document the everyday activities of its citizens. Kim bo Gyeong has the full story. North Korea might be in the news almost every day, but it's still hard to see the daily lives of North Koreans. When French photographer Stefan Gladieux finally got the chance to visit through a North Korean delegate in Paris, he focused on the individuals who live in the North. It's like um, people have a fascination for North Korea, but we completely forgot the people who are living there. My focus was to to give them a face, to try to show who they are, and, uh, and in the same time, to try to show where they are living. He went around several areas, including Pyongyang and Kaesong, and said that unlike other places, people in North Korea don't display any individual portraits, pictures of themselves. When they are photographed, they are photographed uh, in groups, at school, at work, um, but the only time where you get a chance to be photographed by your own, it's for your ID paper. Being accompanied by North Korean guards, he tried to take photos of people's daily lives in as many different places as possible. For example, at the zoo, supermarket, and church, wherever guards would permit him to go. Not only did people have similar clothes and haircuts, they also posed for pictures in the same way. More or less, they are all doing the same thing. And that's come from the fact that they live really uh, in a collectivist system, you know. Alone, you are just a part of the group. That's all. You doesn't really exist uh, individually. When taking pictures of them, he used a special photographic technique with studio flashes and the sun to control the light and color, making it look like the people have been photoshopped, as if they were not real. The photographer says North Korea was the best place to use such a technique because the place was already unreal to him. What you see is real. It's, it's their life. It's weird. It's, it's strange. But it's true, it's, it's all it is. Through this experience, he says he realized that perhaps the first step toward understanding the North Korean regime would be to acknowledge the 25 million people of North Korea up close, like he did through his pictures. Kim Bo-kyung, Arirang News.